Right, when the new series was muted, I'd worked with Russell T. Davis on two other shows whilst we were both coming up as babes coming up. We were, we're, I'm a bit older than him, but um, we worked together on two major projects and then didn't see each other for 15, 20, well, 15 years. And when I heard that he was going to um, be resurrecting this, he was going to be the executive producer on it, and it was going to be his new creation, I rang him, I found his number from somewhere, and rang him and said, I would love to do Doctor Who. I never knew that he was a Doctor Who fan. Even when we worked, I did. He never talked to me about, at least I don't remember it. He probably says that he did. I don't remember him being a Doctor Who fan, and I had worked on Doctor Who by the time I'd met him, so I found it surprising. He never talked to me, but he says he did. Right. I then rang him anyway and said, look, I, I would love to do, is, I know I'm an old git, and I know that um, I'm old school and whatever you all think, but I haven't even begun to do what I want to do. And he said, well, Graham, you know how I feel, and I like working with you, but I, it's not down to me. It was. Um, it's not down to me, um, because there's a bevy of other people, and um, you know, I'm an executive producer. I say that, it probably was wasn't down to him at that stage, he probably didn't know quite the power he could actually attain. What was brilliant for us all, everybody that works on Doctor Who, is it was his vision, the new series, whether you like it or not, the overall vision of how it could be and what elements could be brought into it to make it stunning and new and uh, given a chance to be loved, was all Russell's ideas and the fact that he had surrounded himself before all the directors, with people, <clears throat> particularly the designer, the concepts, uh, the, back, the, the arguments, not the arguments, the discussions of the concepts of what the new series will be, must have started with him and, and Ed Thomas, the designer. Um, and I think Russell realised, not, he's not all power, I've got power and I'm going to whip you all in shape. It is the power to be able to do what you dream of within scope. You couldn't just throw money at it. Well, he had to be responsible. He's a very responsible person. Right. I rang him and said that, and he said, well, like, it's not really down to me, but I, if I have my way, you'll certainly be in the melting pot. <clears throat> well, a year went by, and the series started, and I went and worked on something else. I didn't get offered anything for Doctor Who. <clears throat> but apparently, they checked me out, and I didn't know that. My agent didn't tell me that because I'd have been so upset. I didn't get an opportunity because I'd love to be part of it. Just because I wanted to bring in 1993 with Adrian and with the group of people. I just wanted to